Until now, Nibo has been a different note-taking app because of how it focused on real-time handwriting conversion with its document pages. We love the app for that. Version 4.0 is Nibo's first step towards competing with other handwriting note-taking apps like Noteful, GoodNotes, and NoteShelf. But Nibo being Nibo, it's taking a unique approach to this. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Nibo is bringing all its OCR tools to the note pages in the app. Your handwriting canvas is infinite. So, unlike most note-taking apps we've reviewed, you don't have page options in Nibo. The app has four templates, squared, lined, dotted, and plain. The line spacing varies depending on how zoomed in you are, which works, but fixed line spacing would probably work better. You also get some page color options, eight in total. An infinite canvas is great for notes you don't want to export out of an app. That's mostly because it allows you to have everything on a topic in one place. It's easier to see how information is connected. However, when you export that massive canvas, to fit everything on the exported page, your notes will be very tiny. If you don't mind zooming in to read your notes, that's fine. Do you prefer an infinite canvas or fixed page sizes? We've always been able to handwrite information in note pages. What we've not been able to do is convert that handwriting to text. Nibo keeps your pen color and text alignment when you convert your text. The note pages are no longer for brainstorming only. We can use them for more organized notes now. What I am more excited about is the ability to type our notes directly onto the page. We can then resize the font and format it to make it bold, underline, single or double, strike out, highlighted, or even change the color of the text. Nibo also supports basic numbered, unnumbered, and checklists. It is no phone options though, and we can't rotate our text boxes. We hope to see those features in the future. We've managed to use some gestures in text boxes. You can separate your words, sentences, or add space between objects. The scribbling gesture is working. and your eraser works both on text and handwriting. What's more interesting is that our developers are starting to give us gesture options. You can now choose what strike through or underline does. We're especially happy to see the option to just underline words without making them bold. You can now draw perfect shapes in Nibo. The app supports regular and irregular shapes, curves, and arrows. You can then resize, stretch, or shrink your shapes. We can't adjust the shape's border, add a fill color, or rotate our shapes. All features we hope to see in the future. Nibo 4.0 has added 
a lot of features to the note pages. For those that have already been using them, these additions are very exciting indeed. But we're curious to know, are these changes enough to convince new users to change their note-taking app? That's what I'm always interested to know. Has this unlocked a new note-taking approach for digital note-taking? Let us know what you think. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.